feel after winning such a fantastic event? Well, like any w winner would be, it's just I'm thrilled because it's really what I've been aiming for. But also I'm just feeling so relieved because, I mean, those nerves going into the show jumping arena and once you're in there, every jump you land and you think, oh, how many more to go because you just want it to be completed well. But no, I'm just thrilled because he performed well all week and, and I feel like I have ridden my best. So I've probably had Tosca almost five years now and he started off from, because I ride at Wandon Riding Academy and they broke him in and a few of their workers took him out and did a maybe one or two competitions and then I've just taken him from there. My coach Emily Anker, we've just trained him up the up the levels really and now this is where he is so he's a bit of a character sometimes. He certainly has his days where he's not sure whether he wants me to stay on his back but most round like he's really grown up and now he just enjoys to perform I believe and he loves going out cross country, that's his favourite. He um, does perform better I think when I bribe him with a bit of licorice so he enjoys that. <laughs> So what advice would you give to our viewers that are watching you today to compete at this level and be successful? Um, do set goals all along the way. That's really what has pushed me to this level. I mean, Melbourne was always my ultimate goal since I first came and saw this. And to achieve it, it just shows that if you really do um, put your mind to it, you can achieve what you want. <laughs> so Naomi, thank you very much. No and congratulations to you and Mighty Tosca. <laughs> and that's it for us at Top Horse. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you.